here we are, day number one. I spawned in a forest biome which had both oak and birch trees. So, so he starts with the, the simple getting some wood. But honestly, it doesn't really matter where we started. My objective is just to not die for a hundred days. And you can not that's, die that's, anywhere. It was a very dense that's, forest. That's so true. I was as long as he doesn't die, he's alright. I'll make it look decent eventually, but for now, we're just going on survival. So I'm going with dirt wood, windows. Wood, wood it windows. might be 20% dirt, dirt, but if it has a door, it's home. I also wasted a good bit of time building a mine shack right next to my house. So I, I, I love seeing people's first house, by the way. Like, I always think it's so cool to see what how they started with their first house. Obviously, their house is way better. My first house in this hardcore world was not a dirt shack. I, I, I think I just slept rough for a bit and then I built a cool house. I, I, I guess I lived in a villager's house. I didn't build like a little shack to start but with. But never use. Because when it got dark, I went to my main house and then just built a... By the way, does somebody know this chat? You might know. Was this Luke the Notable's first ever video? Like, ever first ever time playing Minecraft? Had he played Minecraft before? Or was it, was it his first Minecraft video? I'm just curious to see. Or does this like... It, he, he seems to kind of know what he's doing, but maybe it's his first video. I don't know. I'm there. For our first day, we did pretty well. Had almost everything, but I was getting a little bit hungry. And hardcore Minecraft is the only version of Minecraft where if you get too hungry, you can actually die. But I figured I'd deal with well, the Well, if you're playing hard difficulty, you don't have to be in hardcore, but if you're on hard difficulty, you can die from hunger. Kind of. Situation in the morning. I can't go out at night, so figured I'd just mine. I found a lot of coal and iron, which is great, but there's still so much to do. Well, next so now it's the day. next morning. Day two, but it's raining outside, so even though it's morning, it's just as dangerous as night. Whatever. At He's this like, point, if I, I die, I'm only losing like 20 costs, minutes. Again, I spent most of my time just clearing out the area. It was filled kind with trees. Kind of annoys me that he's playing on the fast graphics, not on the fast one, but maybe he's PC could out area, And even had a wooden fence to help keep out the zombies and creepers. You know, I loved those dirt windows, but I think glass ones will work a little bit better. I think and the dirt was better. And thanks to trees I farmed, I also got enough apples to keep me alive for a while. I mined at night, because there's nothing else better to do. By the morning of day three, it was still raining, but these apples aren't going to last forever. I've got to set a farm up. Yeah, the fact that apples are his food source worries me. Which made it a lot easier. Because apples are flipping hard work to get. It'll feed me and I won't die. Ha ha! I had a lot of cobblestone, so I just Imagine, imagine like going out and be like, yeah, this is how I'm gonna live. I'm gonna I'm gonna farm for like who actually apart from Luke is their food source is wheat. Like like just go out and kill some animals and cook them. Like it's I don't know anybody that would, would be like, yeah, unless you get the wheat from a village, like it's it you'd never normally do it, would you? You'd 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 never uh Never normally do. Decided to put it to good use and build a protective wall. I really shouldn't have done this at night, though. As you can see, right as I finished, yeah, creeper I get to creeped bed, up Luke. on me. After that creeper scare, I decided to spend the rest of the night mining more cobblestone. It was a nice, bright, sunny day on day four, so I chopped down more trees. My entire compound is surrounded by them. Skeletons, zombies, and even creepers have been known to hide in these things, so I feel way safer with them gone. However, after four days of <laughs> mining of trees. trees in the daytime hours, I started to pile up a decent amount of wood. So I, so I wonder if this is where he actually lives as well. Like he's He's built a house right. Is this where he kept his base or did he go to a new place for a base? I'm going to be curious to see. On the second story of my house. Sure, it's a little simple, but it's very functional. Compared to some of my previous attempts, I'm actually doing very good for day four. No skeletons have killed me yet. I've got a house. Of course, I've got my so little farm his out first there. Attempt and I even have a bed so I can sleep through the night peacefully. Day five, I was working on expanding the farm and also making it come together with these cobblestone walls. I did just the tiniest, tiniest bit of exploring and found a nearby swamp, but I've been known to get lost, so I'm not going to venture out too far. <laughs> this time, I adventured a I little guess he doesn't bit know too about long, and it got dark oh. on me, so the monsters came out. On hardcore mode, shoot. all of the monsters in the game not only spawn more often, but they're also more deadly, so I ran back home. Just I'm, gonna, I'm just going to clear up that. I, they don't spawn more often in hardcore. Like, it doesn't matter on the difficult, as long as you're not on peaceful. They don't spawn more often you always have 70 mobs in your world of, of hostile mobs. That's just how Minecraft works. So yeah, just, just, just throwing that out there. Never go out at night. This is not a joke. But again, thanks to some sheep who are tragically no longer living, I can just sleep through the night. All I did for the entirety of day six was farm trees. The tree cutting continued well into day seven, but by this point, I kind of got it to a point where I was comfy. It did take a while, but I got a sizable chunk Look of land cleared out. Deforestation. No Luke the deforester. Though ironically, as soon as I went into the forest, I could see that a skeleton was hiding in the trees. <laughs> he was right. This is yeah, exactly yeah. why I'm clearing yeah. it out. Day trees are dangerous. I take it back I what boat, I said. A little more knowledge of the surrounding area. So I think I it's more as like they don't spawn in trees because it's not light enough, but they, they they then don't die because they can survive because they're not under sunlight when they go into trees. I think that's probably happens. Like they spawn at night and then they survive. That's probably what was happening. But yeah, just get rid of all the trees and then you'll be safe. That's his theory. Probably won't get lost. I really wanted to find a villager town. They're one of my favorite aspects about Minecraft. I didn't find one. Didn't find anything, actually. Mostly swamps. I still had some daylight left, so it's time for my first harvest. Did he just break the ungrown crops? No! definitely kept me pretty busy. <laughs> Remember, if you don't that, eat, you die. I did not end up sleeping through the night, day eight. Instead, I worked on making my mine a little bit more accessible. And now it's the start of day nine. I don't remember why I made a sign. 
I must have felt proud or something. Clearing the largest forest <laughs> in the world. You think you'd make it for day 10, wouldn't you? A good amount of logs. So in the sweet, sweet daylight of day 9, I upgraded my house again. Clearing the forest takes a while, so moving up is way easier than moving out. And obviously... I bet it, it takes... Uh, just a side note. I bet it takes so long to make a 100 days video where you do it in past tense. Like, so he's just probably just been playing all this time and recording, but not speaking. And then he's gone back and watched the footage and, like, recapped what happens. And I bet it just takes so much longer than the way I do it, where I just do it record it as I'm doing it you know what I mean like it's just completely different way like it's it's a storytelling way of doing it and I just bet it takes takes forever but I'm, I'm glad the way I do it I mean there's been a couple of times when my recordings glitched and I've had to say what I did um and, and like recap it and I guess it's not too bad I just go for it and make notes but it makes the video something shorter as well which I don't know maybe it's a good thing but I feel like live reactions are pretty cool that's why I like I like having my live reactions in hardcore you know what I mean like I just I just think it's better personally all day, but well, I looked up to the Luke's fourth story, though. which Luke's gave me there. a nice look of my land. Oh, you gotta know I slept up there. It's day 10, and I'm still alive. It's probably a good time to invest in some armor. I love his, uh, he's got a skin on as well. Mode, he's Alex. Any one of those mobs in the right situation could easily kill me. I also expanded my wall does and have armor? He does have armor, yeah, just to so keep the monsters yeah, out yeah. better. At this point, the dream was to surround the entire area in a nice stone wall. Obviously, that was going to take a while, but a stone wall surrounding my entire compound is going to keep me very safe. By the end of the day, I got most of it done, but it doesn't have any torches on it, so it's still fairly dangerous out there. I to see where the area comes from, you know? spent all night mining instead of sleeping. Thankfully, because I'm recording this, I can time out the night and day cycles pretty easily even underground. I woke up early for the harvest on day 11. The crops stop, were uh, coming stop in great. breaking the really ungrown crops, please. I had tons of apples from cutting please, down every tell him not to do <laughs> I just really like the agricultural aspects of this game. But obviously, farming is nowhere near as fun as wall building. My wall looks a little interesting in certain places, but you gotta forget about vanity when you're playing hardcore Minecraft. It's all just about survival. Just get it done. So just again, get it done, when yeah. the sun went down, I went straight into my mine and didn't come so out. I like, his, I like his thinking, though. He's like, by day, I'm outside working by night i'm in the caves doing stuff i mean he could sleep by night but instead he's, he's mining he's keeping away from the mobs smart thing when you know he's no he's no minecraft professional at this point so he wants to just keep safe and, and do it that way till the next day day 12 i was minding my own business when some raiders just showed up he good did thing just i built this wall, wall. Yeah. without the wall i would have been swarmed and stuck in the same, my house though, by these raiders you. but thanks to my wall i was totally fine i was even able to use a certain corner of my wall to safe spot the raiders so i could kill them without taking damage unfortunately Ooh, every time you kill effect? raiders you get the bad omen effect so this thing stuck on my screen don't worry i'll get rid of it in the morning well the first thing i ah, he knows about milk so i told you earlier you know he knows more than you think about myself i simply had to find a cow extract some white stuff and then slurp it down. I also Why brought two lassos just, uh, so I could take some cows yeah, back with home. me to start yeah, on my back. animal farm. I also grabbed two cute little piggies. There's no point in naming them. They'll be dead soon. There's no pen Whoa, yet. Whoa, you're not going to kill them. They're, they're the originals. <laughs> you kill all the children. You know what? That's probably worse, actually. They Never just mind. live in the Forget inner wall. Not the children. Safe. They're offspring is what I mean. That's what we do. That's what our farms work in the real life, guys. Don't look at me in my inventory. And then look at that. During my nighttime mining, I even found some gold. Gold is one of the main ingredients in a clock, which allows me to keep really good track of the day night cycle obviously during the day it's pretty easy to tell that it's daytime but at night when i'm in the mines it's always a little bit the sub count is just how long you've been down there but with this clock bigger. i'm the master of time not space yet but we're getting there i stumbled upon some lapis lazuli as well for a second i thought they were diamonds and peed myself well, a little version this 15, is. i started this is the old on a lapis. second wall uh, outside of walls, my first wall i spent all day building my outer wall it's really starting to become something obviously it's not perfect though there's still a couple dark spots and that's why i came out at night to make sure i lit them up morning of day 16, wall construction was going to continue, but I saw a witch and a couple other mobs, yeah, so I decided away from not that. to this time. I didn't even know if he knows that, time. like, if he goes far away enough, they'll despawn, they can go back. Like, go look 128 blocks away, they'll despawn, he can go back, be safe. Probably doesn't know about that. Just, yeah. I tell you what, I've realized I just completely understand Minecraft's mechanics inside and out now, don't I? <laughs> like, I mean, all the mob spawning mechanics, I, uh, I'm, I, and that's so you Because I make farms all the time, that's, that's why. Not many other people make as many farms as I do. <laughs> and very Time's the best time. And you know, for every foot of wall, I'm just ignoring I've got now that down 3,200 30, trees, so it takes a while. Day 17, Please. I was minding my own business, cutting down trees, when I found an unexplored cave Ooh, on my how land. Exciting. It was a lot bigger than I thought, and this could possibly be where a lot of the zombies were coming from. Good thing I found it. I did find one creeper, Get but I had the high ground. Oh, your shield. Day 18, I was clearing out trees for the wall died, until that. my axe broke. That's fine. Gave me a that. chance to go back home and switch out my torches for lanterns, just to flex Ooh, a little. It was a long day of wall Walls. Done, I didn't realize he did double walls, double walls everywhere. <laughs> somebody, um, somebody complained to him like, "Oh, I can't believe he 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 did double walls." And then, 
<laughs> he did a lot more than uh, than just one double wall, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, crazy. With that final wall placed, my perimeter is finally secure. I stayed out at night for day 19, just wanted to make sure that all of the little dark spots were covered Looks up and like no monsters are. could get in. Monsters could definitely get oh, okay, in. No There's way. a lot of dark spots. And of course, any spider can climb right over that thing. Though I will say on hardcore mode, the mob spawns can get a little bit intense, and this one zombie is a lot less deadly than 40 zombies. Anyway, at the end of the day, I ate right before bed. Even though mom told me not to, day 20 with no walls, more wall to complete, I constructed this bridge. That's pretty small and totally useless. I was pretty much just trying to find a way to burn the daylight hours. I'm waiting till night to check the wall again. Went up to the top floor of my house <laughs> this to wall check is the lighting looks. on the wall. It looks good. I like it. I like exactly it. Exactly where all the dark spots are. I think the caves in this section are contributing to some of the zombie population. I went with some simple lights, but it's, it's fine because everything Don't the light touches is my property. Ooh, I, like I was that. lighting up the wall like all night until thing. daytime the next morning. Oh, I still got a trader. monster spawning on my compound. So day 21, I went into this cave and made sure that every square inch of it was owned by my estate. Yeah, I feel like this is nothing to do with it. A little bit of farming. The compound's really starting to bigger, come bigger. together. It's very safe. It's not totally free of monster spawns, but most of them don't come here. And well. finally, because I could build through the night, I was able to build a pig and cow pen pretty easily. You know, maybe some of you out there could do a little bit more with 21 days, but I'm proud of myself. Now that my home base is yeah, more or less different, secure, I think, uh, you know, sometimes 100 days I'll be the end of every by then. I got but plans hey, to find the ocean. I want to move in every direction. Explore this entire land. But first, I'm going to expand my house a little bit. So I need the sand to make glass. As long as he's having a good time, he doesn't need to worry about apologizing or saying whatever he said for only doing so much in 21 days. He's built quite a lot, and he's and I like the way that he just does what he wants. He has a plan. He's you know, and that's kind of what Michael is. Everybody plays it slightly differently anyway. So yeah, he can do what he wants. But I'm I'm, I'm enjoying seeing it all progress, which is I think is always cool. Last day 23 was the first day of house construction. Remember, it's a little easier to go up than out. I have literal mountains of wood, so I had to figure out something to do with it all. I spent all day constructing room after room of this house. It's gonna be a tall one. Yep, seven stories. Oh up. my this goodness! Only the beginning. Is this, uh, I don't know. Spot, but is this the one where it becomes an emerald one? Is that right? Is, is this eventually the Emerald Block Tower? I've seen his Emerald Block Tower in more recent ones, but I've never seen this. Remember, I didn't want to spend too much time on my house. It's not about vanity, but I spent another day on it. Ten stories of wood oh, all wow. collected I from I like the trees the way that around my spot. Like different window Isn't it types beautiful? as well. So I immediately cranked it up to 32 chunks and stood on top of my glorious structure. And I didn't really learn kingdom. anything new. I'm surrounded by mountains and swamp. And honestly, I could stay up here all day, but we should probably move this video along. Day 25, yeah, I switched out my birch forever. lights for redstone ones. It's a little bit of a flex, but I think it looks nice. And I'm just as bad it's at redstone cool. as I am at life. I ran out of cobblestone it's not really redstone wall, so a redstone back to block. mining at night. The clock helps a ton when I'm down here. I can tell that it's just about to Yeah, get... I find a clock. Oh, we found diamonds. Wow, look at that. Great moment to catch that. Um, but yeah, I find the clock to be so, so useful. See, this is my thing though, right? Because he's doing it in past tense. He found diamonds, but he's like, he's no excitement. Like, oh, I found diamonds. He said it's... On day 25, I was mining and I found diamond. You know, like, that's the difference. And I feel like it's... It's more of a story, but it's not... There's no emotion. It's not the same, like... Spur of the moment emotion because it's not live commentary, I guess. I, I like some do blend, like it's like a story, but they also have like the live reaction in sometimes as well. And I think, I think a mix is maybe probably my. I quite like that. Oh, those are those are diamonds. Yes, five of them. Wait, wait, wait. He put his live reaction in. I just take back exactly what I said because he has his live. I guess he must record his mic as well whilst he's playing. Okay, you know what? I I take it all back and I and he's just step ahead of me. This is good. I made a sword and a pickaxe. Everything that I said I didn't like about it doing past tense, he just completely blew me out of the water because he, he has live reactions involved. <laughs> I think most of us probably would. So day 26 with well iron done. armor, diamond a diamond course. sword, and most importantly, a compass, I set out for more adventure. It was getting pretty late and I ventured out pretty far, so it looks like I'm hunkering down for the night. I couldn't sleep, so I just sat in the house and waited <laughs> until morning while I you ate do food you. in real life. I went a little past sunrise, probably had to poo or something. On the road again. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. He, he said he did all these days and he never went AFK. Well, he went AFK for 10 minutes. Then I, I, he says he barely went there. And he says no, he, he doesn't like to go AFK. I've gone AFK loads of times in my own day, so I'm not saying it's a problem, but anyway. Looking for villager towns. I really like those things. I didn't end up finding a town, but I go found on, a desert, desert, desert and desert some sort of outpost. Place. I've looted desert ruins before, so I decided to go with this one first. There was a creeper inside, but honestly, that's little, pretty in standard. the wall. Don't go through the main about entrance. I 35 days of work when I died to a creeper inside a jungle ruin. To my credit, it did lag a little bit, and I had my shield up. Still died. Anyway, no, back no, no, to the ruin. I can see the yeah, chest, but I know it's totally a trap. I took my time. I was extra careful. Everything was fine. Hey, a little free TNT is yeah, nice. Free TNT I got a you can emeralds, emeralds, some Whoa. Bones, when did you get a, no diamonds whoa. or anything? When did you get that apple? When did you get a notch apple? 
thing, but it was definitely worth my time coming down here. Maybe he doesn't realize how, um, so we'll how precious that other it was. Thing tomorrow. It must have been in a pretty there. lame structure and then just stood there all night. All right, now it's morning. Time to take on the pillager outpost. Oh, I think you we'll didn't realize how rare it was. There were a lot more of them than I thought, but I have a lot of bread, so I'll probably be fine. It seemed like they only spawned outside of the structure, so I went inside and barricaded myself in. The loot wasn't well, great. Well, it kind of works like, like that, him. but it's basically a uh, pillager outpost or if, if you're stood on the inside of... No. I, basically, it's based on the light levels. So on the light level, if the light levels, I think it's based on zero. It might be less than seven. It used to be less than seven. It might not be anymore. It might just be zero. Anyway, if it's that, they'll spawn on uh, any block. But if it's uh, if it's light, then they'll only spawn on sand, grass, or dirt. There you go. Carrots. So that got me a little excited. Why oh wow, this got very out of hand very quickly. Most of them died because they shot each other in the <laughs> yeah, back. It was they do spawn sad. a lot though. I ran away, but with sweet victory and my belly full of loot, I ran Don't go to a village now and start a raid. Don't tell me he fun. does a raid. I can see my house from a mile away. I only had eight carrots, but using I the bone meal I got okay, from the Okay, he must have got some milk room. because his thing's gone out of the corner, so he must have just got some milk together. I was able to get those rookie numbers up quick. After farming, I spent most of the day fishing. There's a couple rare items you can get from fishing, and it's easier than going through dungeons. At and night, I decided to upgrade my house. At least fishing the first is a hard one. way to get different those. layers of wood is one simple thing you can do to make your house look pretty homey. One day, I think all the rooms will the look this nice, good. but obviously, as you can tell, they're not. I like the way it goes underground as well. Search of chickens. I came back with sheep, which, you know, I guess I needed two, whatever. And after all of day yeah, 30, I never did find chickens, but two llamas is just as good. Day 31, I well, found chickens, but I had to lure them the old-fashioned way. Good thing I can cut all of that out. It took all day. As you can see, it's dark now. <laughs> yeah, I we generally say try to wait to harvest my crops until they're all fully grown, but I was just so excited to get at those carrots. Now, you don't have to break the ones that aren't fully grown, the animals, Except the llamas. I don't want more no, of we those. Got baby it's kind of rainy on day 32, so I decided to redo my basement. I spent all of day 32 just Ooh, making my basement look nicer. I love the way he's using redstone bells. I you don't see that often. Day 33, I really started to get this animal farm. But I guess he's like... Well, I I I can't uh, I can't build anything with redstone because he says he's not very good at redstone. He's like I can't build any redstone contraption, so I'll use it aesthetically. And you know what? Each to their own. You can still do it in their Minecraft, and that's what makes Minecraft a cool cool game. <laughs> Wait, it's not just me. Animals are used for a lot of different items in Minecraft, and that was pretty much it for day 33. I thought about mining, but decided against it. Day 34, I did a little more exploring. Decided against and found it. A nice I got some flowers. Yeah, a ton on. of flowers. I also found some roving pillagers, but with a little bit of building, it's pretty easy to take them down. Yeah, keep and getting rid of the bad them. omen trade isn't a problem anymore. I've got access to unlimited white stuff. You know, going There's up all to the, the cows floor inside. every night to sleep never got annoying. Day 35, I really? started on a bridge <laughs> that would me. connect my land to a nearby shore. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but I wanted to make the part around my land a little nicer. After building the wall, I gotta do something with all this cobblestone. And everything I'm you're seeing to on see screen how now is a full day's work in Minecraft. <laughs> kind of underwhelming. And by yeah, the end, it's amazing how long things can take in Minecraft. Done. Oh, Complete with safety oh, I like rails the, and oh, torches. I, I, I like it. I just, before he cuts away from it, I love the way he's put torches on and stuff. It's really cool, is that? It, it kind of looks rubbish. Then he had walls and torches, and I was like, ah, well, you know what? It, it looks really pretty. 37, I decided I was going to extend this granite road further into this mountain. The great However, granite the mountain road. was far chunkier than I could ever imagine. So if it's all side. right with all of you, I'll just skip the next 15 minutes of me mining. It took about half a day's labor a day 38 no, to I, break I the... No, I wanted to watch you loop for the next 15 minutes, mine. Yeah, that would have been brilliant. <laughs> other side, but it felt good when I did. I spent the rest of the day making it look pretty until it got dark. Then I got scared. There's a massive birch forest on the other side. Nice. Going to be a pretty cool I like that. Road. I like that idea of going right through stair design, I think I, I, but I eventually I do scrap that and go straight probably. across. And at the end of day 39, I was kind of wondering what I got myself into here. You got to understand, I'm on day 40. This is the longest I've lived in a hardcore <laughs> yet, at least well, recording at least this good. series. In almost all of my deaths, I get bored, try something risky, and die. So I really want to avoid that here. So it's actually keeping something myself busy uh, with a massive road that's not dangerous. seemed like a good idea at the time. But I always make time to go back and check on my cows. Day 41, never I too many animals birch home on the other side of my tunnel. It's a little pit stop. If it gets dark and I'm on the road, I can just sleep here. I have some big plans oh, for this nice. road. Well, yeah, I want to house. carve through this forest. It's going to be beautiful. One of the well, problems yourself, I immediately uh, started running into is there is a lot of trees in this forest. Just wait. It's going to take a few days of hard labor and then it'll look great. Can't wait to get up and do the mine every same tree. thing tomorrow. Honestly, I've been living this lumberjack oh, lifestyle for a while now. Clearing trees is no problem. And it actually works out. They'll supply most of the material for this road. 
Uh, uh, that's true. Was pretty much just he mines the trees, the gets the wood for the build. The road, clearing out birch trees. That's yeah, pretty much it. But by day Does he know that the leaves will just despawn on their own? You know, you don't have to worry about it, Luke. They'll, they'll disappear on their own. <laughs> Five, it was really starting to come together. This thing is looking I guess he nice. ran out of granite and he was like, eh, you know what, I just, I've got loads of birch wood. I'll just use birch wood. It looks like that, doesn't he? Like, I'm not going mining for granite. It'll take too long. I'll just use birch wood. Fair this enough. is very dangerous. I should not be doing it. You know, if not I didn't night. have this Whoa. birch shack, I probably like... would have died a couple days ago from staying out too late. And by day 46, the bridge was complete. No nice. safety features, but complete. Ooh, I like this as well. On day 47, full view. made it look a little bit nicer, and also put up some fences to keep the mobs out. Day 48, I started building my shelter on the other side of the bridge. This will be a nice place to come to. He likes to, to build shelters, doesn't he? Of my he likes to build shelters. But as you can see, even after a whole day of construction, it's not done yet. Yep, still out here, day 49 until nighttime, putting on the roof. But this was the last step. It's nothing Let's special, it. but it is Ooh, a little bit a more little property for me. And I'm proud that I have it here. We're back in the main camp for day 50, just tending to my crops. Gotta keep those carrot numbers up. I also did a little bit of work on extending my farm. It could never be too big. Food isn't really an issue anymore, but if I ever find a villager town, I need to have a lot of farmland to trade with them. I just worked on it all night peacefully. One of the nice perks of walls. I wasn't recording yeah, for the he's first quite day pleased. 51, no. but I don't want to confuse you all, so I'm just gonna show you this day 51. I wanted to find the ocean, <laughs> and I found a big river <laughs> that to just through this mountain, so all of the real day 51 I was carving through. I've been there. I forgot to record every now and again, but I've recorded thousands and thousands of days so yeah it's uh, it's easily uh easily done travel's really nice because it doesn't take up food and most enemies can't get you if you're in a boat so yeah now yeah, boats are pretty safe ocean. something else to keep me busy and not dead i obviously get distracted easily because day 52 we're already working on icing out the bedroom it honestly didn't take too long what's the building on these rooms of his house kind of like when i built that birch shack for working on the road here i built a swamp shack i would describe it as cozy it's very functional yeah, very small. i just ended up mining all night now it's very been practical. three days and i you still haven't found else. the ocean so i went up a mountain to try to get a better view of the land I I didn't really get much, but it kind of looked like this river might be a good bet if I could connect to it. This is probably the most dangerous Wait, thing I've done make so a... far. Whoa. It was a long night of canal construction, Ooh, like but an uneventful one. By the time I got back to the swamp shack, it was basically morning. But I, I was right back to do at that. it in day 54. This connector. is probably the largest part of man-made river I had to make. And finally, there it is. I can see it. The ocean. <laughs> it was nighttime the ocean. though, so I had to be quick. Cobblestone shack. The canal's not totally complete yet, though. I'm trying to get one stretch of water connecting my house and the ocean. And as much fun as watching a full day of mining Ooh. might be. I decided to cut it out I like and I'll this. just show you the completed canal. There's still a couple a rough spots. Goes all the way. Boat travel in your See, water. this is where I kind of lost on this because I just got it's the nice. electric so I fast. There was like no point doing it. Oh, I like the 56, speed. And from my ocean shack all the way back to my house, it only takes about five minutes of normal time wow. or about half I mean, it's a day. It's getting to me, guys. This is going on quite long. It's finally time to go out into the ocean. There's great loot in the ocean. Ruins, sunken ships like I have here. Tons of stuff. I mean, just to show you right here in this sunken chest, I found a Diamond! I also found a, a treasure diamond. map Let's and go. potatoes, which is awesome. Yeah, me and treasure maps have a pretty interesting past. Here I am, day 25 of another hardcore Minecraft attempt. I bet you can guess what happens. Yep, I was going Creeper. for a treasure map and drowned. Oh, I was way okay. more careful this time. Yeah. It meant a lot to me to get this treasure map. Yeah, sure, it took a while, but I found it. That and can be hard to find can unless you know the 99 strategy. To go to the ocean? Look at all that great loot. Day 58, I found another sunken ship. I'm on a roll here. Honestly, this time around, I was most excited. These are very useful. I did what I used in my first day to get loads of those resources. The set. I found it. The villager town. Day 59, I began by stealing everything I could get my hands on. This one had a brewing stand. Those were well, insanely go. hard to come by. Ah, well, they have cats! Kinda. Cats! Unfortunately, cat. my inventory is absolutely bursting. I have to make a trip home before I can come back here and get more loot. At least but you found the village. When I got back home, I felt like fulfilling another dream of mine. Kind of like the treasure map. This is going to go back to another hardcore playthrough that I died on. In an old playthrough, I trapped a zombie under my house in this convenient little containment chamber. It also had a lever where you could draw oh, the zombie. Oh, because it's holding the one it and didn't, I'm building um, another one, but this die. time I want to trap so, a creeper, so it'll be a little um, bit more difficult. It, it took all spawn, of day 60 so I feel like the creeper might end up I said earlier, spawn. I'm not that great with redstone. However, by the end of the day, the containment chamber was done, complete with auto Ooh, drown nice. mode. Day 62, I waited until night to test out my containment chamber with this zombie. They're pretty easy to catch, though I quickly realized that if I try to do this with a creeper, I'll probably end up dead. I went with a safer contraption for getting the creeper in there. Basically, the pressure plate will get him through the fence, and then he can't get back out. I'll walk over over this tile, which the creeper can't, obviously, and then I'll get I don't know, there it might be able to get around. But first, we must fish, and for I'm a while, not too, I think there's going to be a, a bit of disaster when he tries to, to get the creeper. Forever, I'm going to need a 
name tech, and you get those from fishing. So I fished for all of day 64. Oh, he's gonna get, he's, get he knows tech. about the name tech. And talking. guess okay. what? In day 65, we're still fishing. You know, statistically on game 66, it should have dropped already, but hasn't. Yes, I did spend three days fishing, but it's peaceful and safe, which is all a hardcore player wants. I'm not just looking for the name I, tech. Do I just go dungeon rare items I that you can get, like a him. saddle, which will give me horses, but I didn't get any of them. So by nightfall, I gave up. I'm just going back to the ocean. I started off day 69 by getting to know this dolphin. Nice. If you give them fish, they'll take you right to treasure. It's That's pretty cool. easy. I've never I really ever used it, but... I with this method, you know, and even found a buried treasure map. I was very careful again. I know what happens when you're not. It didn't even take that long. Just a little bit of digging, and I found it. It was there packed with loot. Look at I that I realized thing. I'm not there careful no all in Minecraft, am I? sleep on day 69. When the sun came up the next morning, I was already looting another pirate ship. I'm still not done, though. Looking for treasure. Saddles, name tags, really anything. Honestly, at the time, well, I could tell I was visibly pushing my luck out here in the middle of the ocean. I should probably go home. You know, as I pulled up to my ocean shack, I kind of realized that this thing needs a little redo. Yeah, definitely not safe. Yeah. I can't even sleep in my bed at night here. Oh, man, now it's the morning of day a, 71, and first things around. first, we have to make this ocean shack a little safer. I found through this playthrough, a gate and wall is pretty much all you need. This simple little shack <laughs> turned out pretty nice. Yeah, I can fish into the sunset, and I fished all night again. I'm still looking for that name tag, or a saddle. And even though it took a little longer than I thought, on day 72, hey, finally I finally the name tag. that name tag. I waited until night to take my river passage home. I Remember, it's about five it. minutes, so I was able to skip most of the night doing this. You know, I haven't really gotten a good look at my treasure chest since I started hitting this the ocean treasure and chest. fishing a ton. I wouldn't it's say it's all treasure. Full of Some loot. cool anyway, things in there. Anyway, now that I'm back home, you gotta know exactly what the first thing I did was. It doesn't really matter. I was just stalling for nighttime, where I'm trying to catch a creeper. And I got him with my expert creeper trapping contraption. It's However, just... I forgot a crucial step on how the name tag works, and the creeper exploded. So, <laughs> guess I'll have to try again tomorrow. <laughs> Creepers don't die in sunlight. Move back, so in the Come on. 74, I was actually able to try again. I trapped him easily. That wasn't the hard part. I obviously know what I did wrong now. I'm using the name tag totally incorrectly, but I'm amazed oh, I did this two oh, days okay, in a row. So here's I what see. I did wrong. In order to activate a name tag, you have to use an and. Yes, Luke, tell us how to use a name, name tag. That's why it wasn't working. Okay. The creature. I'm going to name this first creeper Elbaton. Took a little oh, longer than expected, oh, I like but you got to remember like this was a dream of mine. And now, it's real. And because I put a name tag on good old Elbaton, he'll stay there forever. We didn't get to see the name tag on. But sometimes, drowning. I guess I need another project now. Huh. Wonder what I could do. Well, of course, there's always that. By there's this point, I realized cows. I'm level 38, and that could be used for a lot of seriously good enchantments. But you gotta have a lot of different items if you want to make a proper enchanting room. So you gonna get those the items is sugar cane. I'm not sure how, but I always forget to make a sugar cane farm until I really, really need it. I also have yeah, zero if you'd have made this about 75 days so earlier, it would have been helpful. For some. Sugar cane grows pretty quickly, so starting off with 30 is gonna be real great for me. I'm not done yet, though. Day 77, I was still looking for wild sugar cane, and hopefully, yeah, it's, it's one sugar place to find. I'm gonna need some obsidian, and I know a spot where I can find some lava in my old mine. I only want to do this once, so I'm gonna mine enough for not only my enchanting table, but also a portal into the nether. Yeah, but I had just, no just idea I was gonna find some diamonds. Well, oh, I found hello. one diamond. Exactly one diamond. That's better than none. It's fine. Day 78, I started construction on where my nether portal was going to be. I like oh, to be in my house and look nice. I would have been still 200 days day, I ran out of my fancy stone, but I think I did a pretty good job anyway. I spent the rest of day 78 I like the way you myself up I never used nether. diorite and underside and granite really, but I like the way he's used it. I think it looks really cool. He's a good builder, is Luke, actually. I'll give him that. He Today's the day to the nether! Oh, he goes to the nether in this one. Okay. Not a bad spawn point. At least there isn't any lava around. Step one, I enclosed the portal in cobblestone. This he's always got to get it safe. I also got some glowstone, which I can Take use no, to make some no fancy, chances. fancy lights. And that's pretty much it. I got scared and went home. You gotta remember, I'm on hardcore. Day 80, my sugarcane farm wasn't at maximum capacity, but it was pretty close. But ultimately, I'm gonna need some more diamonds if I want to make this enchanting table. So it's back to mining. Around the start of day 81, you can check the clock in my inventory, I found an abandoned mine shaft. This is technically a dungeon, which means there'll be loot here, but I'm also gonna be insanely they careful. Find the an last thing you wanna do in one of these places is get trapped by a creeper in one of these small areas. But if you're gonna find diamonds, this is the place you should probably look. Well, well, and I found well, some. well just one diamond again. again. And it was guarded no, 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 by a creeper. Off. I still picked it up. The it's deeper I go into these mine shafts, How the that diamond didn't blow up, I have no idea. Watch this, guys. I still picked it up. The deeper I look go it, look, into these mine shafts, shafts the more nervous I end up getting. But as long as I keep finding diamonds, my hope level is going oh, to be at an all-time nice. high. So now it's pretty much the start of day 82. I know I've been underground the whole time, but that's what the clock's for. I've been just insanely lucky. You can see here I had to fight my what? way through, but what? there's more diamonds. But again, it was it, only you, those I two. I mean, if the low, I guess you get a lot, but My inventory was getting pretty full, and by this time I had found eight diamonds, so I figured it was time to go back to the surface. I was very safe about the whole procedure. No need to 
die after you've gone to the dangerous mineshaft. It was still the night time of day 82, so I probably shouldn't be out here, but it spit me out right near my canal. So I made a little boat and got home quickly and safely. Day 83, we can just take some time to look at some of my treasures. It's literally full. Mm-hmm. Yep. Keep looking. I know you're jealous. Then I smelted some iron or something boring. Yeah, I know. You just want to look at my treasures. Here, one more time. One crucial ingredient to an enchanting table Guys, room is really lots of leather. Him. So, <laughs> sorry cows, but I'm gonna have to kill some of you. Listen, with a diamond sword and the correct leverage, there's no pain. And after crying through that experience, I now have everything I need <laughs> got to touch some to those cows, didn't it? So, day 84, I put together my enchanting table. It's not perfect yet. But it's getting there. Gonna, Currently, yeah, the only the thing I have enchanted is my side. shovel because the durability on it was pretty high. I think when my sword and pickaxe run out, I'll enchant those two. I like the I way that in his house, he's, he's, like, rod, he's not got the really rooms all in squares. He's got one on top items. of each other for every room. I'm still looking room to like fish that. my way to a saddle. I don't have a horse yet, and I really want one. And within two minutes, I got a name tag. That's just fine. I fished all night with this enchanted fishing rod. My hope levels saddle. were at an all-time high. I fished on day 85 too, mostly because I wanted my sugar cane to grow, so I had to stay nearby. And thanks to my enchanted fishing rod, I finally got my saddle. There As you we can go. probably tell, I was very excited, because now it's horse finally. time. But first I wanted to use that name tag I found earlier to add to my creeper collection. This one, I'm gonna name Tors. I didn't even have to use the okay, bucket on Tors. She went into the hole oh, herself. Traded. Now that... That looks cozy. You know, I never anticipated in my wildest dreams that I'd live at this level of luxury. Day 86, Two I creepers. built an incinerator. Crazy. I have so much trash Ooh, nice. I gotta get rid of. I put it in the in. basement <laughs> behind the stairs next to my nether portal and creeper chamber. And you know, I made it look pretty nice for a glorified trash can. Also, because my realm is so well connected, I know exactly where to find some planes. And I found a horse. There was another one too. He knows if this everything. one dies, I'm good. Day 87, we're gonna start off the day with a little horse exploring. Horses can't travel across water, but they can that's a little annoying, but pretty easily. Yeah, Look at this, thing. To go this mountain down. was the only thing blocking my path in this direction. And remember, at the start of the video, I said I wanted to move in every direction. And on top of the mountain, this I the final up to direction. chunks and could definitely see another villager town. So Ooh, now we're nice. just working on a simple village, horse though. track through the mountain. That's it doesn't have to be as clean because I'm not going to be doing this on foot, only on a horse. Most of the job and most of day 88 was just clearing trees. I feel like it's the start of the playthrough again. And by day 89, <laughs> yeah, I built a track perfect for horses. Ooh, nice. I'm not going to do this Looking on foot. Though, it'd be dangerous. By the end of day 90, though, I was almost done with the entire thing, building the last little leg through the swamp. Yeah, it got This is like how Minecraft should be played, you know, like getting a horse, getting, making boat trails, all this. You get a lighter and then all of that just doesn't happen, you know, and it's kind of sad in a way because, I don't know, I just feel like it's such a cool thing, like, but I, I, horses to me are useless. Boats are kind of, I, I mean, like, boats are useful, but not what they're, they were meant to be used for. They're not really for traveling, like a boat on ice, yes. But not just a boat on water. It's like, I'll just fly, you know what I mean? And it's just things like that. It's, it's kind of, in a way, sad that... There's just too many things for Minecraft. Like, the, the Elytra are just too OP. That's what it is. But I love the Elytra, so I'm not complaining. But it just makes all these other things obsolete, like horses and, and stuff. Villager town, so I figured I'd take the short trek home. It only takes about a minute. And you might notice this is a different horse. Yeah, the other one died. It happened Whoa, on day 89. I just didn't have the heart to tell you. He fell during oh, construction. No. That was all that was left of him. It's fine now. <laughs> he he helped. And now I have a great horse road. I'm back in the villager town in game 91, grinding up some of these villagers. If you manage to get one to max level, they can sell you some pretty nice stuff. It's a shame it took me so long to get horses. Yeah, I could have set up this route forever ago. Because I have a massive farm by day 92, I was already at max level for one kind? of the villagers. He'll sell me golden carrots or glistening watermelon, which are just so rare. There's a few other villagers I'd like to level up too, but there's no way that's going to happen with all the zombies running around. But for now, Ooh. they all seem to be safe yeah, inside of the well. Man. It shouldn't take long <laughs> yeah, to just fix put them in the well. villager They'll town. Be all right it just needs a little bit of love. Generations of creeper attacks haven't been kind to it, but I'm here to fix it now. And after the Look town the was savior. certified safe, I let all the villagers out of the well. However, unfortunately, safe? on the Did way back through my Whoa. horse road, I was attacked by a skeleton. He didn't do that much damage, but Run. my horse despawned. I'm pretty sure he's still alive, but not certain. I was horseless game 94, I think, I think so your I horse is dead, go mate. back to the villager town. I just despawn right there. I spent a good bit of time constructing my throne room. Room, two because every dead. house should have a throne room. Mine is quite comfortable and lavish and has a great view. And That'd you know, nice. for the sunset, there's no better spot. Like Good news, I found my horse. He wasn't oh. dead like the first one. I only have a little bit more time Are left, sure, but Luke? just what enough really time to there? set up a little house in the villager town. With a big enough Wait, that's not the same more, there's no better oh, no, 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 no. 
attacked by a skeleton. He didn't do that oh, much yeah, damage. Fortunately, on the way back through my horse road, I was attacked by a skeleton. He didn't do that much damage, but my horse despawned. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Where did he go? Not certain. I was well, horse that, that must be, must horse my throat. You, and you know one. I only have a little bit more. There's no better talk. spot. Good news. I found my horse. He wasn't dead like the first I don't know how that happened. I only have a little it's bit like, more time what? left, but just enough time <laughs> to set weird. up a little house in the villager town. With a big enough potato or carrot farm here in town, I could easily get enough emeralds to max out all of the trading villagers. It only took me a day to build, and it's not much, but I think it blends in pretty well next to the other oh, houses. Nice little and now yeah. if I want, I can sleep amongst He's the villagers. Better and better at nice. Day 96, I worked on my own personal property, and even installed a horse pen so I don't have to tie him up to the well. Good Day idea. 97, I had to run back to the main camp to get supplies for Look a iron gold, fully and I started doing so chores, which chance. chewed up my daylight. But I was back in the villager town by day 98, and I brought with me an iron golem. There already was one, but he stays on the edge of town generally, and is pretty useless. <laughs> now that the village is safe, the last step is setting up a farm so I can exploit them for their resources. And that was pretty much it. I saved the villagers and rode off in style. It was gonna be dark by the time we got home. Perfect for day 100. Immediately when I woke up, I noticed a bunch of pillagers on my property. How did oh, this happen? Ruin I was it. planning on revisiting all of the different areas that I built throughout these 100 days, but it looks like this is gonna take a little bit. I don't know how they spawned amongst my animals, but I know several of them are gonna die. That's pretty appropriate for hardcore it. Minecraft, though. This game is pretty unpredictable. Ultimately, I vanquished the die. loiterers and drank that sweet, sweet white stuff. There we go. Now there's Few no way I'm gonna be able that. to visit all the different areas I made, but I should honestly just farm. It's probably more useful. There's still a lot to do, and if you guys want to see me go to 200 days, well, I'm gonna need this produce. I like Minecraft. I could do 200 indeed. days easily. It is indeed. So that was the first ever 100 days in hardcore Minecraft that was made, and it was it was pretty epic.